This is a photo filter tutorial on photo retouching and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to eye enhance, whiten teeth, skin smooth, and color balance only using the photo filter. So um, the first thing we're going to do is skin smooth. So you want to take your smudge tool right over here and just zoom up and just you know smudge any flaws such as blemishes zits or pimples so you want to get rid of you know all those flaws and after we're done with that you can even pick a size precise medium or large you want to take the blur tool and just blur the skin by blurring the skin, we're creating a soft look. If you want the skin to um, look more smooth and soft, then just um, repeat the same steps. So it's pretty much easy. Okay, so after that, now we're moving on to whitening teeth. I already have a tutorial for that, but I'm just going to include this in the video. So, you take your polygon tool and you select around the teeth. After that, you make the contrasting higher and the saturation lower. And repeat the same process to the other set of teeth. After that, now we're going on to eye enhancing. So you want to zoom in a little bit more. Use the polygon tool and just draw around the eye. And what I do is I make the contrasting higher, the saturation higher, and the gamma correct higher. As you can see, it looks more shiny and colorful and it doesn't look as dull but take note that it doesn't always look as good it just depends on the person's eye color the picture quality and more so this is how mine turned out so far you can skip the eye enhancing if you want depending on the picture you're using so after that, we want to come to adjust here and go to auto levels. That just helps a little bit. And you can also go to um, more more highlights and more shadows. You can also go to color balance. To make it look at a cool temperature, just um, play with the settings. For mine, I put the bottom scale to 14% or 16 whatever you want around that area. For the middle scale I put it to negative 7% and the top scale I put it to negative 13% or you can make it look more bright so negative 8% will do and you can make the contrasting higher to make it look darker, the saturation higher and maybe even the gamma correct higher. So this is how mine turned out so this is it before, and this is how mine turned out after I edit. As you can see, there's a really big difference, and it's amazing what you can do with photo filter because it's for free. If you don't have it, then you can go Google it, and yeah. So if this tutorial helped, then please comment and rate and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks.